Hey there, cats and kittens. My name is Alonda Carter and I am the recovering Hunbot. I create anti-MLM, that's anti-multi-level marketing videos. And on occasion, I dip my toes into true crime. But if you think about it, isn't multi-level marketing criminal? If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. And if you've been here before, thanks so much for coming back. Now to get semantics out of the way, I use multi-level marketing or MLM there's many words for this. It could be direct sales, network marketing, social selling, pyramid selling, uh, just all kinds of things. But I use multi-level marketing. I started creating content about Enagic and the associated training platforms back in the fall of 2019. If you haven't watched anything from my Enagic playlist you might want to do that just for context. I've made videos about the ACE Initiative, the Breakaway Movement, Darren and Mike, their dream team, Enagic in general, and I've covered different stories. Just all kinds of things are in that playlist, and I'll try to remember to put a link to it, but I may not, so you can search for it. <laughs> Several months ago, I guess because I was making, you know, those different videos, they'd seen them, somebody contacted me and gave me some material, and we're going to look at some of it today, about Enagic, specifically the breakaway movement. And I guess I want to call this training, just in case you don't know, I'm a professional instructional designer. That's someone who designs and develops training, I've got the fancy degree and all that too, and a lot of years of experience doing it. So this whole training thing that MLM does, it really grinds my gears. And at the time when I was a Hunbot, when I was in Beachbody, I just, I mean, I let all of that go. I mean, everything that I knew as a professional, it was like out the window. They've got to know better, but they didn't because the way that training is put together by anyone that I've ever seen mm -hmm. in multi-level marketing, it's not like it's put together so that you can walk away and do something without help on your own. There's usually some sort of like ethereal type of thing and it's all, you know, touchy feely and feel good stuff, which that's not what training is. Please don't send any hate to anyone involved in a company that uses multi-level marketing, that kind of structure, no one in a magic, no one involved in any of these training platforms or even ones that I haven't even mentioned. The thing is, is that I am a critic of this type of business structure. And it does really bother me that there are people out there, a lot of people out there 
who, and some of them don't even know that they're taking advantage of others, but that's what's happening because most people are not like wildly successful in multi-level marketing. And it's not because they're not busting their humps because most people who are trying to be successful are, they're working very, very, very hard and not really getting a lot of, you know, ROI return on investment. I'm breaking this video up into two parts because otherwise it would be like super, super, super long. This video, I want to say it's like 45 minutes and, you know, I'm going to have to add in my two cents here and there. So if we did it all in one shot, I mean, you might just like, you know, have to like not eat dinner or something. So let's not do that. And I'm just going to, you know, break it up for you. All right. Perfect. Okay. I see myself. So I'm live. I hope everyone is having a great morning. Um, I decided to do it this way because I learned something recently in a launch group that Taylor and I did on how to stream live and share your screen at the same time, whether it be on your page, on your personal profile, um, in a group that you're hosting. And Facebook um, has a little bit of limits when it comes to what you can do and as far as like how many guests you can have on your stream so i decided to do a little research hello learning grows do things find out some uh new ways to host and go live so that taylor and i can both uh, be present and um actually note to self i'm going to send you guys um, my list of apps and websites that i use that are extremely helpful for uh running an online business apps so one of them that i'm using right now is be live and eventually you can add it as an app in your group in your um on your page and it will let you stream from this particular website onto Facebook. And I just find it really easy to use. Um, there's some extra tools that you can do and widgets to, that you can add that Facebook doesn't have. So um, I found it incredibly helpful. So I will uh, remember to send you guys that and post it in the group shortly. Um, so today I really wanted to, I know it's been a couple of weeks, um, but you know, there's so many calls. We've got Balazs group, we've got uh, made by water, breakaway community, breakaway pro, the trainings you guys have to do. It's a lot. I get it. Um, and I've definitely found it a little overwhelming at first when there's so many calls, but I wanted to make sure that we can create an intimate space for us to connect and for you guys to feel like you have someone to lean on, um, someone to ask for help and, uh, also just get a personal, uh, a personal like my, like a, a personal perspective um a one-on-one -on -one perspective of like what this business looks like um because i know a lot of the breakaway team in my opinion focuses so much on the six a's and above um i'm sure you've noticed and you know some of us aren't there yet and that's that's okay and the journey isn't exactly always um so quick especially um you know, people like we all start from our own place and uh, definitely, obviously I was, I've, I've studied advertising and marketing, but never network marketing until I started this business. And, um, you know, at life, life has chapters with my business has had many chapters, um, but I'm really liking the, the chapter that I'm in right now. Um, so I just wrapped up a launch group with Taylor Chapman, uh, my good friend who is on Paige's team, who is also my good friend. And we had 60 people in the group and it was super, super fun. It's still open. Um, our feedback that we've had to what we did was a three part series, a live, um, a live webinar series, uh, focusing on mindset and, um, uh, sorry, not focusing on mindset, but focusing on getting clear on what you want for life and then pitching the business at the end. And it was super, super fun. So note to self, I can um, share that in the group as well. So if you guys feel inspired and you want to try something, um, you definitely can try a, uh, sorry, I just wanted to see if someone commented that had notification there. You 
definitely can try the Humble Watch cell group, and I'd be happy to dive a little bit more into that on another time, or if you want to ask me questions, but I'll send you the link um, of the recordings and the homework that we did. Um, super, super fun. Definitely uh, attracted many hot leads. Um, so I have people right now who are definitely interested getting their um, you know, finances in order, that sort of thing. I've got some warm leads who are just taking their time through the training. Uh, we definitely realized niching down as far as the group probably would have been a little bit better on my end. I had, um, I had a, a, a big mix of people in there. So I think next time I'll niche down um, a, lot, a lot more. But anyways, that's where I'm at. Um, so I've just been focusing on connecting with those people and uh, for providing a lot of information and really just taking time this week to to refocus and, and and niche down like we were talking about in our chat again um so it's something we're going to talk about a little bit today just uh really really narrowing down who you're helping and um what i've experienced with that so enough of my babbling i'm gonna go ahead and show you i love doing the presentation style it's just it, it helps me and I, I feel like having a visual helps you guys too and i'll obviously be sharing this later in the group so i'm going to share my screen and uh let's do that share screen yeah 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 okay Perfect. Okay. Let's let this Wi-Fi load. Okay, so today I wanted to do 2020 final stretch. I was gonna say final quarter, but I realized I think it's the final third. And uh, um, the reason I wanted to focus on the final stretch is because we are heading into honestly a new season, especially in the northern hemisphere. It's like kind of getting into that fall mode, um, it's Virgo season, which is really about um, creating a better work-life balance and focusing on your health um, as well, but really just getting clear, putting the structures together that you need to finish 2020 strong. Um, so definitely, I mean, I know the year goes by so fast, it's like, what the hell, when did this happen? I get it. I think in general, everybody can agree to that um, business-wise and personal-wise. So, okay. Let's dive in. So if you look at where you're at right now um, and really look back on the start of your year, but specifically the start of your business, because I think most people in this group started this year, which is awesome. So what is important uh, that I've noticed and experienced is to be radically honest with yourself. Um, as far as what you have done and completed. And when I say that, I mean, not with judgment and not with criticism, um, but with, with openness and just realness about what you have done or not done. And literally, honestly, because you're likely in the moment, you are doing the best you can in that moment, but it always takes that reflection to really realize what you maybe were not doing or what you had missed. Um, so yeah, 2020 is really about a 2020 vision, right? Seeing, illuminating shadow, what have you been doing or not doing and what's holding you back and just write it out. Um, and not, and again, not be hard on yourself and not judge yourself. Just look, just observe, just be the observer and look at what you have created or not created um and maybe what you've learned maybe it's just been a bit of self discovery because i know the first many months of my business was um, a lot of a lot of trial and error and a lot of learning and i think even overall it still is but definitely just like just just look at it just take a good hard look and it's, it's not to be hard on yourself so um and then a real self business so honestly just looking at yourself um and because ultimately you are showing up as your own uh, employee your own boss um your own affiliate your own everything when it comes to your business and uh taking care of the machine that's doing the work uh is important 
and again we're going into Virgo season so that's really about um yeah, looking at your health and looking at your routine so do you have a morning routine um you know I think a lot of us are uh, it, it, it can be hard when all of a sudden you you know, it's all on you. You're all your own boss. You have no one to answer to. Um, you know, have you been clocking in, so to speak? And have you have you been showing up to work feeling energized and clear? Um, so, really, honestly, like, have you taken the time to meditate? Have you taken the time to journal? Have you taken the time to um, eat well? Uh, and just, just really, just uh, love yourself I guess is the word that's coming to mind and like what are the thoughts that you have are they um are they loving and kind and supportive remember you have an inner child in there um who just wants to be loved and they're taken care of for so have you been taken care of that person um and recently I made a decision to eliminate alcohol from my I don't want to say my life, but just, you know, that, especially as we're in Canada, having, you know, beers in the summertime and wine with dinner and everything like that is extremely normal. It's very not normal, not to me, in my experience. So it's been um, about a month almost of just no alcohol and just like so reduced in the morning. It doesn't really, really take care of itself. I'm definitely feeling better already. Um, but it's, it, it's truly about was really important to be in alignment and be at a particular vibration you know got to be at the highest vibe because I want to attract you know only positive and good things into my life and knock out all the negative so so much of the breakaway movement centers around the law of attraction and you can really pick up that vibe from this gal which I want to say she's a beautiful young lady and she seems very sweet and she seems to be very sincere, unlike other people that I've seen that have been doing this for a long time, because she tells us that she studied advertising and marketing. And I thought that's interesting, but she had never done network marketing before she decided to join a Nagic wall. Okay. The breakaway movement first, and then, you know, becoming a Nagic pun bot. And I can see why someone like her would be attracted to the breakaway movement because they speak to that new agey, new thought, spiritual type person, someone who follows Esther Hicks, someone who really is into like crystals and all of that kind of stuff, which it's so interesting to me that there is this segment of multi-level marketing that's like kissing cousins to all of that. And so I thought it was also interesting I keep saying interesting sorry but I can't think of another word when she talked about how the focus in the breakaway groups is on 6a now so if you don't know if you have not watched again if you haven't watched my other magic videos then this isn't going to make as much sense but um I'll try to remember all of it which I'm not going to because it's been a minute since I've made that but a magic's highest level I think they have something beyond this but the highest that you get to a 6A and then there's like, you know, other levels within the 6A. And so she said that the focus was on 6A and above. So basically the focus is on those people who have managed to bring in a lot of other people. The people who, you know, founded the breakaway movement, Darren and Mike, who founded the dream team, the guys who founded Global Affiliate Zone, the guys who founded the ACE initiative, it's all of these people who have created these training platforms and they have these massive, massive, massive networks. That's where the focus is. And you know why we're, the focus is there? Because that's the money. That's the money. And the thing is, and I've said this a lot of times in my videos about the Darren and Martin dudes, is that, you know, when you come into this, you're going to be competing with the people who are at the top. And all of this in general relies on paying for ads. So not only do you join 
whatever group, whatever training platform, in this instance, breakaway movement. And then you decide, oh, I want to start my own business. And then you get to, you know, become an Enagic distributor because you only can buy Enagic machines from other distributors. You can't buy it anywhere else. And so once you buy one, you've, you've joined by doing that. And they're basically $5,000. That's a lot of money, but they'll finance it for you. you. Got that, they got you covered. And so when you invest that kind of money into it, you're gonna kind of, you know, want to push yourself a bit because that's a lot of money. And they always talk about these high ticket items. Anyway, so I found it interesting that she's talking about, you know, finding clarity, that past training about finding clarity, because this is also something that's very, very much tied with multi-level marketing. And I think it's going to go back to your why, because you need to be clear about what you're doing and focus on that, know why you're doing this. So, you know, you can't be derailed. And the whole niching down for her launch group, which, you know, I understand that because you can't be everything to everyone because you're nothing to no one. If you try to be like, everybody needs my thing. My thing is fantastic. Nine times out of 10, when somebody joins whatever, you know, MLM. Yeah, that's how you feel. Just like, you know, health and wellness. Well, everybody needs to be, you know, healthy. So it's for everyone, right? But you're not going to speak to everyone. And that's for, you know, like any business. I mean, for instance, I'm just going to say, I don't know, Nike. Not everybody wears Nikes. Maybe somebody likes Converse. It's, you know, it's the same kind of thing. It's, it, it's all of that. So the whole niching down. And when you start hearing this language over and over again, you start thinking, huh, I know something. I'm learning something. And I'm not saying you're not learning anything. You do. But are you learning enough to actually help you so that you're going to be successful? Because we all know. And if you don't, I'm going to tell you about 99% of the people who start these things never make money. And um, hopefully I'll remember, I'll put a link to Dr. John Taylor's work that that's when you hear that, you know, the quote about 99% aren't going to make money. It's because John Taylor did all of this research and his uh, paper is linked on the FTC website. But really it goes back to most people are not going to be able to make money. And when you join these training platforms like Breakaway Movement, you're competing with the people who can invest money into advertising. Are you going to spend more than them? I doubt it. They have it and you're probably at a place where you want it, but you don't have it. And maybe you're, you're even tempted to be like, I'll just put some more on my credit card. You can get into hot water doing that. So don't do that. Please don't do that. Oh, good Lord. Don't do that. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, because this was made, I want to say in December. So it's been a minute because you can see, you know, I mean, I can't get to everything. At one time, I wish I could, but, you know, I work full time. So I can't do all of this like 24 seven. And I, I really wish I could. I wish I could do so much more because there's so many, many things about multi-level marketing that I want to talk about. I want to research and I want to share with you. But I'm one gal. That's why there's other creators. Anyway. And the progress about what you're doing, what you're not doing and not being judgmental. I don't think that's bad advice, but I think where it gets twisted is when you connect it to the business opportunity. That's where it can really trick you up because it's one thing to be able to go like, okay, I'm going to journal about this and you're not involved in an opportunity because once you add on that opportunity, you then start blaming yourself that if I'm not having success, I'm not working hard enough. I don't have the right mindset. I'm not at the right vibration. I have some negativity in my life. You find a reason of why like you're not enough. And I think that is so odd because one of the things in like law of attraction and stuff and you know all of these things is that you are enough. But at the same time, they tell you that in one way. But at the same time, you're not enough because you're not having the success that you want. So you're everything that you need. You already have it all. Oh, but you don't because you're not getting it right now. So obviously you're doing something wrong. You know, you, you see what I mean? It's just so, it's so, it's so icky. And this whole thing about Virgo season, I, I guess this is something like in the whole wooey stuff. And I don't know that much about it. Some, cause I've, been involved in it some. So that's going to speak to a very particular kind of person and not to everyone. Let's get back and see what else she has to say. 
So definitely just taking care of yourself. And I think most people in here are health conscious and I don't need to tell you this, but um, even, yeah, even like I slip up too, like I've had, you know, lots of chips and things like that, but um, you definitely notice the difference when you're feeling really good. And then in your business, um, really just taking inventory. How many leads do you have? How many conversations have you started? How many times have you fallen and got back up? So just looking at where you're at and just writing it out. Um, and again, just being the observer. Okay, so then I wanted to present you guys with some questions to ask yourself. Uh, I feel like I'm the queen of self-reflection. It's just like, when you ask yourself these questions, you, you, you get the answer. Excuse me, when you talk so much, you need that water. So Thursday, the last two days, don't know what's up. Okay, so where is your focus? What have you been focusing on as far as like work? Um, like, what are you doing? Have you been doing, um, you know, busy work? Uh, I can definitely say that I've done that a lot this year. My year has been so up and down and strange because I was traveling for a while, but uh, you know, what what is it that you have actually been doing most of the time? Um, but also as far as focus goes, um, thinking about your energy and your intentions and your thoughts. So are your, um, like what, what, are, what are your thoughts um, focusing on? Um, so have you been looking at, uh, have you been scrolling on, you know, other people's Instagrams and, and thinking, oh, this is what I'm not? Or are you focused on who you're helping and how you can help them? Uh, and then again, yeah, what did you learn? So what have you learned as far as like a skill set? I think I keep jumping from uh, question to question, but what have you been educating yourself on how how have you been putting energy into your work as far as uh, adopting more skills and learning more about the water or learning more about network marketing? Um, and again, yeah, leading into question three. So what type of skills have you acquired? Um, because ultimately, yes, our job is, uh, oh, look at me, I'm getting my own emails. <laughs> Your job is, yes, to communicate with others and offer them the opportunity to watch your web class or offer them the opportunity to try the common water. Um, so what have you, what have you done to really master, master more skills as far as getting that communication set down or getting your um, leadership skills um, down? Are you, I'm, like, I might be jumping questions here a little bit, but really just looking at what, what skills are you, are you, have you been working on? And can you say that you are a different um, business person or entrepreneur than you were three, four, five, six months ago? Um, you know, have you fallen down, got back up? And I definitely think since we are not masters, yet uh as far as a as far as physical evidence shows in the network marketing industry and i'm not saying that to sound like to put anybody down but like arguably like you know who we're looking up to is maybe balage or amelia right they're 62-5s and fours and threes um so they've really they've been in this um longer than us and they've uh, tried a lot of new things and learned a lot of new things as far as skills. So what have you educated yourself on? And um, something I resisted at first was, oh, I know how to use Instagram. I know how to talk to people and I know how to, um, you know, I guess persuade or communicate with others. And I, I didn't dive into learning anything until way after until i realized that i didn't have the success that i was after at a certain point i was like okay maybe i gotta look at this now maybe i need to let my guard down i'm not an expert 
and be the student. And it's really important to be the student, especially at the start. Um, and and be humble and just allow yourself to learn and acquire those new skills and know that you do not know everything. And if you're getting pushback from the people that you're communicating with, or things aren't, um, are not working out as far as they aren't signing up right away or they haven't bought the machine right away, um, it's really time to take a look at yourself because um, what's happening on your outer world is a reflection of what's happening inside, right? So, Definitely this year has been a year that I've been like, okay, you know what, because last year, um, just different. I was working full time, studying, um, trying to get this business going. Like I had like 400 things literally going on at the same time um, in 2019. So it was just a whole different year. Um, and I wasn't getting to where I wanted to be. So I really had to just all of a sudden take a look and be like, okay, Obviously, I'm, I'm not totally aligned inside and I'm not being humble and learning the things that I need to learn. So really just, um, I'm I guess I'm, I'm drilling your home with like, it's totally okay to learn and do the trainings and outsource too. A lot of what I've learned has been from podcast books and free courses that I do online or paid courses that I do online around business or manifestation or, or whatever. So I've definitely uh, taken the time to just educate myself and I definitely think this is important because my business changed a lot this year from last year and it was because I took the time to reflect and educate okay I think I got that point across all right uh do you know how to do a common water demo okay what's up you so okay I'm not sure where to start um you know because I like this gal I really do. She seems sweet, but I'm I'm worried about her. I'm worried that she's thinking um, this Congo Noir is a magic thing, breakaway movement. This is her pathway to success, and most likely it's just it's just not. And I, she just seems sweet, but she really does seem like someone that is perfectly aligned. I don't like using that word, but you know, like she is the target market for breakaway movement. She just absolutely is. She, you know, wants you to think about how many conversations you've had and then, you know, being your own observer. And that's something that I've heard in the law of attraction kind of sort of was like, you're observing yourself, observe yourself and be non-judgmental. How many times have you fallen down and gotten back up? And that's also very much network marketing. And then they prey on you to think about that in terms of like, you know, instances like someone like, say, Michael Jordan, you know, basketball, like, you know, how many times did he fail? And like all of these people that we've heard of about how they failed so that you think, yeah, I can get back up and I can do it too. I can go at it. And it's like, but it's not the same thing as, you know, practicing for tennis, for basketball, for ballet or anything. This is network marketing. It's, it is, it just is. And then this whole thing about like, are you doing busy work versus doing something where you're, you know, moving your business forward because the thing is in network marketing you know you, you you really you know don't watch a netflix movie no don't don't want to slow down and do anything that you might actually enjoy because you gotta keep on working you're not there yet keep going what are you doing you're falling down on your job you're supposed to just be working at it until you know everything falls into place and that's just not realistic. And then this whole thing about thinking about your thoughts, what are you thinking about? Think about your thoughts. It goes back into the law of attraction, being in alignment, having the right mindset. Because if you think about like, well, am I thinking negative thoughts? Oh, I must be thinking negative thoughts. Got to get rid of those negative thoughts. I better journal about why I'm having negative thoughts so I can break through whatever barrier is holding me back so that I can be at the right vibration so that I can attract people to me. It just becomes a trap, you know? And this whole thing, like, okay, scrolling on Instagram, are you doing that? Basically, are you comparing yourself to someone else? And I 
get that. I mean, as a content creator here on YouTube, there are people that just come on and just boom, they like blow up. And meanwhile, here I am trudging, trudging, trudging away. And I'm like, okay, maybe one day I'll get to 10,000. I mean, that'll be great if I ever do. But I'm more than anything, I'm just thrilled anybody, you know, watches my stuff because not this kind of video, this video, I don't put in the research that I do for the other things, but you know, the well-researched videos, people don't watch that. And you should, you should watch the stuff that I do deep research on because you can learn a thing or two. Okay. So get over there and go watch it. Then come back. Okay. But finish watching this too. Anyway. So, and then this whole thing about like, what skills have you gained? Are you learning about the water? I mean, I'm sorry. It's water. And now what? You have this magical, special water. I've got to get like Amanda in C or Cat or both and have them break down everything about Kangen water because that's not my area of expertise. I'm an instructional designer. I'm not someone who knows nutrition and diet and all of that. They do. So I need to really have them talk about that with me, with us. Because I think that's important because the thing is when you get involved in any of these things, because you start watching all the videos that are other people are talking about it, you think you become some sort of an expert in a way, but you're really not. You're just really regurgitating what you've heard. And that's not really expertise. Oh, are you allowing yourself to be the student? Oh, <laughs> that just hurt. That just hurt when I heard that, you know, it just really did. Um, and the whole thing is like, it sounds like that she's doing a lot of courses paid and free and podcasts. And I get that because when I was in Beachbody, I did so much personal development. I did so many courses on different things, so many groups and masterminds. And oh, if I join this thing and I apply, you know, this methodology and I use this approach, then that's going to move the needle. And all it did was suck money out of my pockets and take time away from me. This is what we're working with. We're working with common water and to have that intellect and to have that um, verbiage and that knowledge when it comes to explaining water, especially if you're going to um, a family's house for dinner or a friend's house, um, just being able to explain what the water is, explain um, the difference between uh, Kangen water and bottled water, uh, you know, the fact that you can do a chlorine test, you can do a pH test, why is the pH better, um, why is the ionized water better for you, all that sort of stuff, really being educated on the Kangen water and confident when you are talking to people, especially in person, because in person is um, really, really a good skill as far as communication to have. Um, because the energy is a little bit more raw and authentic and in the moment, um, instead of just messages back and forth. It's like you as a person with that person and communicating and that energy exchange is going to be a lot more um, permeable in my opinion. Um, and then again, yeah, what is your energy and intention like? So when you're messaging people, when you're posting on social media or um, when you are even again in person, what is your energy and intention? Attention. And this really comes down to um, being of service and knowing that we have something that can truly help change people's lives and a water that can truly help change people's lives and realizing something I like to do when I'm speaking to people is I imagine what their life would be like if they had the machine and if they had this business and they really thrived. Like imagine the fact that they're now going to be able to um, put their kids in private school if, that, if that's something that they want in the future. They're going to be able to take their mom on a trip that she's always dreamed of and they're going to be able to move away from the place that they don't want to be in anymore and they're going to be so thankful that we, they had that conversation with you or me um, and and now literally their life is, is completely different so really coming from that heart space that loving space is truly truly important and I think um, again a lot of what I share with you guys is stuff that I've learned through because when I first started I um, again it was CEO so it was a whole different mentality and in CEO it was like business money get it done and um, I was yeah like, I'm going to be like rich online business person da, 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 da. Um, and it just wasn't the same energy. And they obviously, I mean, they are 
they got shut down because they were scamming people. Um, so it was a whole other sort of tribe to be in, but I was just really excited. I was really enticed by the business opportunity and what it could be. Um, so I definitely didn't start with that um, heart space. And I think it's really, really important because that's like true authentic um, energy to work with. Um, and then do you have your I help statement down? Um, super, super important. And this comes down to, um, again, number seven. And I think we were talking about this in the chat. Um, you know, who are you helping? And I definitely, I, I, I re-looked into um, Rachel Bell's free Instagram course, uh, which you can get on her website. Um, I found it super helpful. So I wanted to dive in again and niche down and get super clear. And I did that um, in the last uh, little bit. And it it's so, so helpful because now I feel like I know my niche like as if she was a sister. And I'm so excited to help her. And the fact that I, I, I have that, that um, what she calls as an ideal client avatar, the fact that I feel like I know this person, something that I realized was without that clarity, how is arguably the universe or whatever going to construct a beautiful opportunity of you to connect with someone if you don't know who that someone is, right? I, I, again, I always go metaphysics, just like the, on the energetic level and the energetic field, like how am I supposed to attract, um, you know, these people if I don't know who they are? It's like, I guess how Abraham Hicks says, it's like getting in the car and you know, not knowing where to plug in the address on the GPS, you don't go anywhere, right? Huge. So when you have that, that niche, it's so incredibly helpful. And um, I've jumped, I've jumped around definitely a few times, but I, I really feel aligned and excited about who I've chosen recently. Um, and I haven't been on Instagram in about a week or so because I'm locked on insta but i'll be back soon and i'm really excited to just uh, communicate so well to who i'm helping and just let those um let the messages hit to the right person and not try to help everyone because i think when we try to help everyone we are losing focus and the message gets lost but when you have your person you know exactly who you're speaking to and they'll find you and it'll just it'll all come together uh wow 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 okay so the whole energy exchange of when you're in person i mean to a degree i understand what she's saying but at the same time are they even going to be interested i mean i i don't know and the whole what is your intent i can remember i can so remember before I post anything of like, what is my intent? What do I want from this? Like getting all the alignment, all of that. I know if I'm not getting what I want, blah, blah, blah. oh, it's just the being of service. Oh my gosh. How do you change lives? I mean, how does multi-level marketing change lives? Well, very few people make money. Most people are running around all over the place, whether it's physical or online and not getting any results but you think that you're getting somewhere because you keep taking these courses, you keep going to these trainings, you keep getting on all these calls, you keep doing personal development. You think you're going somewhere when you're really just pretty much spinning your wheels in the same place. And are you learning a few things? Yeah, here and there, but overall, it's more about making you think you're learning stuff, making you think that if you just don't stop, you're going to make it. You're not. The I help statement. Okay. That goes right into, you know, like your client avatar. And it's like, you got to know who you're helping. And let's just face it. These machines are very expensive, $5,000. And a lot of times these people with Enagic want you to do the trifecta, which that's $10,000, but they'll finance it for you. I mean, can you imagine getting people to spend that kind of money. I just don't think that's very realistic that many people can do that. The only people that are going to say, yeah, are those people who are truly, you know, like a little bit lost themselves. I mean, I know me, I had gone through cancer when I joined an MLM. And so you're at a vulnerable spot. Most people 
aren't going to say yes. And those that you're going to attract through any of your ads, you're going to have to spend a lot of money on those ads. If you have not listened to the interview that I did with someone, I think it says like um, something about the dream team. And it's an interview. It's a, a recent video. Oh gosh, I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, it's in the Enagic playlist where I interviewed someone who was part of the dream team. Very enlightening because that's how all of these things operate. They really do. It's just a vacuum cleaner getting into your pockets. You know, that's really what it is. And this whole attracting other people, how do you do that? If you don't know, you know, your niche down. And what's so funny is that when I was, you know, all about beach body and had my client avatar and all of this, I didn't attract anyone because nobody was looking for what I had to offer. But I started doing YouTube videos. People find me because they're looking for that information. <laughs> They're looking for this information. I do enjoy doing these videos. I really, it, it makes me feel good that if I can help just one person with anything that I'm doing, it's so worth it. It is so worth it if I can just get one person to go like, wow, I really should step away. Because in my opinion, you can't just make people stop believing in the dream. They have to be at a spot spot where they're ready to. And once they're ready, they will be open to learning about the truth of what multi-level marketing really is. And I think we're going to end here. So you'll have to come back and see, um, you know, part two. Thank you so very much for spending time with me. I appreciate it. And I look forward to what you have to say in the comments and we will continue this in part two.